Shalom. In today's video, man, I'm going to tell you why the Christian church and these Christian observances are designed to keep you broke. You may not like what I'm saying. You may hate it. You might be offended. But if you exercise some self-autonomy and let the Ruach HaKodesh, the Holy Spirit guide you, you might find true salvation and prosperity if you're looking for it. Let's talk about it. All praise to the Most High Yah Shalom. Thank you for tuning in to another Righteous Spirit Food episode. Today I'm back at it in them trenches handling that kingdom business. Man, today I'm going to talk from a place of knowing where you might be. And this is truly to edify you, to give you understanding. And man, I challenge you to, to take what I'm saying to the bank and realize that Replacement theology, Christianity, is keeping you in the dark and behind the scenes, they operate like a business. You know, the, the, their practices, their structure, the script that they go off is all, you know, formulated around a business model. Okay, first and foremost, the word says that the borrower is slave to the lender. Man, your church, is comfortable with going to get a loan. They're comfortable with operating out of debt. And the Most High Yah wants you to be in debt to him and his righteousness. You know, the Messiah paid the price, you know, so you could, you could be free from your captives, from the land of captivity. Okay, when you look at Sunday Sun Worship, I want you to do this. Man, when you Google Saturday, it's going to tell you it's the seventh day and it's going to tell you it's the biblical Sabbath. When you look at Sunday, it's going to tell you when you Google the definition of Sunday, it's going to tell you it's the first day in the Christian Sabbath. OK, wait a minute. First day Christian Sabbath or seventh day of rest Sabbath of the book? You see what I'm saying? Man, I'll tell you this. Man, you will have the Sunday Sun Worship Church, you know, see people that are in need, that are struggling, and having the, the capacity to help, man, they want to deceive you using tithe scriptures, you know, telling you to sow a seed in their ministry, and the true ecclesia would help you. You got to understand, man, the, 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 the storehouse that they were bringing tithes to on the first day of the book, they weren't bringing money on Sunday. They were bringing food. They were bringing uh, agricultural goods. They were bringing meats. They were bringing wine. They were bringing herbs to be able to truly help out. But how many times, you know, have you seen uh, churches pretty much parade and advertise how much people tithe? to pretty much make those who are not giving Christian tithes, you know, feel bad or feel like they're not doing enough. And that's not the concept that we read about in the book. You know, when you go back and look in Leviticus about when tithes are paid, the yearly tithe, the third year tithe, the seventh year tithe, look who that tithe goes to. Is your Christian church the Levites? You see what I'm saying? Who were, who didn't have an inheritance? You know, you got to look up. I've done videos on it in the past. Man, a lot of people are sowing dollar seeds. You see what I'm saying? Not these seeds into prosperity ministries. And these wicked pool pimp preachers, pastors, uh, female pastors, female prophetess, they're deceiving millions. And this is why you stay broke. Let me tell you something. Everything I'm saying today, you might not like it. I understand that. There was a point where I didn't want to hit it. But the word says, come out from among them. The Pharisees were the ones that were religious 
that was scamming people. And when it was time to pay forth tithes, what did they give? It said, the word says that they tithed cumin and mint. Imagine everybody else bringing baskets of fruits, potatoes, stuff that can actually fill you up in some substance. And here is these religious pool pimp pimps called the Pharisees tithing herbs, tithing oregano. You see what I'm saying? They neglected the weightier matters of the law. This is what I want you to do. Man, if you want to sow a seed righteously, these have always been seeds. Take that money that you are giving to the Sunday Sun Worship Church. Go get you a pack of these right here. Sow them in the ground. And those things in the books that are parables to some will become a reality and will all make sense. You know, if you seek the Most High Yah's face, he will reveal to you everything that I'm saying. But if you choose to be comfortable and live common among the worldly people, among the lawless heathens, you're never going to understand it. It doesn't matter what your lineage, what your genealogy is. Some people want to stay comfortable and that's why they can't receive the truth. OK, get you a pack of these. This is a true so a seed. When it comes to these Christian observances, worldly holidays that people keep. Man, you look at Christmas. Man, it is a holiday geared to keep you broke. You would think if you can't find this holiday in the book, when you look in Matthew, Mark, Luke, you know, you're not going to find how to celebrate a holiday called Christmas. In fact, the word tells you to not follow the way of the heathen for because the customs of the people are vain. The church, the Christian church and businesses are in cahoots together this is why when you go into walmart the day after one of these worldly christian observances what are they doing emptying the shelves getting it ready for the next one two three months out it's all about keeping you broke and i'll tell you i'll even go as far as this me being a veteran i don't even keep veteran days anymore i'll tell you why because a, a, a common practice is they'll give you a free appetizer you know, but because they know you're going to purchase a meal, you're going to purchase a drinks. They'll give you a free meal, but they know you got to purchase a drink. So what do they do? They mark up the drinks on that day. You see what I'm saying? Everything is about making money is, is money driven. The worship of mammon. It's not about worshiping in spirit and in truth. OK, here's another one. Easter. When you look at the etymology of the word Easter, it is Passover. It's Pesach in the Greek. OK. The one time that the word is mistranslated into Easter, if you look behind it, like I said, it's Passover, it's Pesach. The church won't tell you that. They'll use that one verse right there and everywhere else in the book is saying Passover or Pesach to justify them doing a Easter service. And then when you look at it, the Feast of Unleavened Bread, you know, the church may read it, but they're not going to keep it. They're not going to tell you to keep it. Even pastors like Jen O'Jenin said, I teach the Sabbath, but I don't teach people to keep it. So they teaching people to violate the commandments. Every one of those Christian observances that you keep when you look at Easter, when you look at Christmas, when you look at look, look at look up Chris, Christian observances and you're going to realize, man, when you look behind when they're doing these Mother's Day services, these Father's Day services, look up the origins of Mother's Day. Look up the origins of, of Father's Day. And you will ask yourself, dang, ain't none of this in the book, but the church will keep it. Why? Because it draws a crowd and where you can draw a crowd, they can deceive the naive and tell you and tell you, hey, you need to sow a seed in our ministry. Come on and be a part of uh, be a member of our church. They bring you into some office and deceive you. This is why uh, when you look at Sunday Sun Worship, it will never be the Sabbath because oftentimes religious Christians or Christians, they'll take people out to eat and let's go out to eat and break bread. And on the day of rest, you're not supposed to be causing anybody to work. You yourself are not supposed to work. Man, when you find true prosperity that the book talks about, man, it is because you have came out from among them. Your mind has been renewed. The Most High Yah has made you a new creature and you're not walking in your old ways. The word says, if my people shall humble themselves, the truth will slap the doggone deception out of you. It always has. But the truth has always offended. The truth has always made religious people mad, Pharisees mad. And it, 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 when you think about all of the people that persecuted Messiah, that hated him, 
man, he was walking in truth. And what he was speaking sounded so foreign to them because they were comfortable living in lies. Man, the Sunday Sun Worship Church is nothing but Nimrod worship, okay? A lot of the holidays you keep are rooted in other deities while they're telling you Christianity is a uh, monotheistic religion. It is not. Every one of their observances is rooted in another deity. That makes it polytheistic. The Most High Yah that they worship, this is why they don't address God by his name. They give him the title. They address him by a title, you know, instead of the Most High Yah or Yahweh. This is why they want everybody, you know, to use these loose translations so they can further deceive you. The word says the penmanship of the scribes is in vain. Without the spirit that gives understanding, without the Ruach HaKodesh, the Holy Spirit, the spirit of truth, man, you're not going to be able to see where the penmanship of the scribes is in vain. I'm telling you, man, free yourself from the system, free yourself from world religion and walk in the truth that's in the book. And I'm telling you, you will experience loneliness. You will experience persecution because when you look at Messiah saying, OK, you will be persecuted for my name's sake. Messiah kept the Sabbath. It was his custom. The disciples, the apostles kept the Sabbath, man, and your family, when you grow up in a Christian household or a religious household and everybody's used to keeping uh, Sunday, stop keeping Sunday and start keeping the Sabbath and watch the hatred come out for you walking in truth. Man, the Sunday church, the Sunday Sun Worship Church and their Christian observances that are the same as the worldly observances because you have people that are atheists that celebrate uh, the same pagan holidays as the Christian. These things are all designed to keep you broke and prosperity ministries are geared towards making you think you're finding prosperity while they're doggone robbing you blind, telling you to sow a seed instead of actually planting real seeds that grow. Closer to y'all ministries, kicking that thing, gun barrel straight. Bow.